Hey everyone, my name is Alonda. I am a 47 year old mother of six, school teacher, and I'm on a weight loss journey. I wasn't sure how to start this video, if I'm being 100% honest, but some things have been weighing on my heart. And so after clue, after clue, after sign, after sign, I said, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. I just came from church and so I am a little eager to get back in the house and put on my normal lay around Sunday outfit. They kind of look like pajamas if you get my drift. So I'm not going to make this a very long video. It's going to be short and sweet. So some of you may have heard of a YouTuber with the content name Dodash. Um, and she's going viral. She is really, really doing her thing. And I've been hearing a lot of thank yous to DoDash, thank yous to DoDash, because it's making people step out of their comfort zone and actually make YouTube content. I can relate to this because when I started my weight loss journey, I was 264 pounds. Really, if I'm honest, 100%, I was 265. I was 264.7. If you round up, which is what we tell people in class, I was 265 pounds. Um, I'll give you my my ending weight today. With it being Sunday, I know it's normally not my weigh-in day, but y'all have said some things that made me think some things, so I had to go check myself this morning. <laughs> um, and I'll get to that. I promise y'all will get to it. But um, a lot of people have been talking about DoDash, and I actually did watch a couple of her videos um, this morning when I was getting ready for church. And I was like, wow, you know what? I'm going to make the video as soon as I get home. So, Dodash, she basically has been doing YouTube for quite some time. And just recently, she's been diving into what is near and dear to her in her heart. And that is what she has been making content of. When I started my weight loss journey, I was freaking scared to do it. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what I was going to say. All I knew is that I did not want to do another weight loss journey diet and be alone because when I was alone, those failed and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> um, but when I started taking Zetbound and started my channel, you know, I had like two subscribers and then I had five subscribers and I was like, oh my gosh. And that was exciting, but really what hit home to me that opened up my heart is that so many people had words of wisdom, encouragement, advice, um, confidence in me when I didn't have confidence. I'm still kind of working on my confidence. But the underline that I also keep hearing is that people are afraid. They're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know what people would want to hear. And to be honest, I didn't know either. I was just throwing myself out there hoping that I would get, you know, some people who would be like, oh, yeah, some advice, some do this, do that. And I have got it 10 times fold. I mean, kid you not, 10 times fold. I actually have some people on my little note card that I need to thank because, man, y'all have really come through for a girl. Um... And that is what DoDash is promoting, you know, just put yourself out there. And I spoke um, with Elaine. Elaine is another YouTube um, content creator. Uh, and she and I have chit-chatted a couple of times over the phone. And I told her, I said, you know what? I watched this one lady like back in February, my first week on ZetBound. And I really didn't know, you know, I went my day as a teacher and I was a mom. So I'd come home and take everybody where they had to go. And then I would turn around and come home and be, you know, wifey, co-parent, whatever you want to call us. It's a long story. Catch a couple other videos to know that story. <laughs> um, but I had lost myself. And so even though I was eager to put out content to, you know, build a community, I just didn't know what I was going to talk about. And I watched this one lady, and I cannot remember who she is or what, she, I don't even know. But she said, I use the pictures in my phone for my content. 
And that was the best little nugget of information because that's what I started doing. I just took pictures of my normal day life. And if you watch some of my videos, y'all know I'm always popping up a picture. Now you know why. Because I didn't know what to talk, to talk about. So I just took pictures of stuff. And then when Friday rolled around, I was like, okay, so what do we do this week? Let's look at it. And I did that. That's how I make my videos. I just talk about what went on in the week and like i told elaine yesterday um because she said the same thing she's like i want to be more consistent i want to put more videos out i just i don't know what i want to talk about and i told her i said well i take pictures because that's what another youtuber <laughs> suggested and it works for me i mean yeah i have a little cute card and this is my cute card and it's not even a cute card really it's an index card but um, y'all don't see me wearing my glasses because, you know, I got the big index card. When my kids bring me this little index card, I'm like, mm, get my glasses on. But I got the big index card, <laughs> so I can see. I don't need my glasses. Um, but, yeah, so if you are out there and you are like, I think I want to do YouTube. My heart is saying it. And some people, they're like, no, I, I, my heart is not calling me to do YouTube. And I got you. I understand that. But if you feel like your heart is saying, come on, let's do this, do it. And if you're not sure what to talk about, look at your phone. We usually take pictures of things that are important to us, sentimental to us, or have some kind of meaning behind it. And like I was telling Elaine um, last night, a lot of times my pictures take emotion. You know, when I look at a picture, I'm like, oh. And so when I get behind the camera and I have like, you know, um, shoot, what, what was my, I don't know, use my flashcards have like four little, four little dots that relate to the pictures. <laughs> um, oh, like doctor's appointment. Cause remember last week I went to doctor's appointment. So I wrote Monday doctor's appointment on my little card. And so I just said it here and I was like, Monday doctor appointment. Um, and so that kind of helped me remember how I felt, what was going on. I live by an airport. I apologize. Um, but it's Sunday, so my whole house is everywhere. People are mopping and cleaning bathrooms and vacuuming. So I came outside. But going back, because I do like to ramble. Sorry, I said this is going to be short. <laughs> 12 minutes. I got this. Um, DoDash just basically said, if you feel like your heart is saying, make the content make the content and i'm saying if you're not sure what to talk about look at your camera roll there's something in there that you have been documenting or felt a certain kind of way which is why you took the picture that you can talk about so yeah so um when i went to church today they were saying three things one know your motive why do you want to do it so why do you want to be on youtube i know for me it was, um, I wanted some people who were going to be doing it with me, um, not just side by side, but like truly, truly with me. I felt like I have always been alone. I'm my only child, so I always feel like I'm alone. But I wanted this weight loss to be different. And that was the other why, my motive. I needed to get on the weight loss journey so I can live longer for my kids. Like I said, I have six kids, um, two are bio, four are adoptive. So I know if I pass on due to my own health issues, my four are having no one, like they're adopted. There's no one. So I got to be here. I'm going to be here. So my motive is for my family, my friend, well, my friends. Okay. I love y'all, but <laughs> my family, my friends, and for a sense of community. And I had to have the community community in order to be successful. Again, I owe a thank you to a few of y'all, so stay with me. Um, also, I have a note. You want to think about why life can be rough. And for me, sometimes I get put in situations where I really gotta think through it and like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Okay, what can, how can I handle this? And I've told you on other videos, I laugh at a lot of stuff. I laugh because I can't control it, which is where my card comes in. So, on my Friday video, 
I gave myself my first compound injection of trazepatide. I love saying that, trazepatide. And um, I'm gonna show a picture of my label so y'all don't think this girl is crazy. No, no, because it's life. Life be lifing, and I just have to go with it. So I got my syringe. Um, by the way, I've been practicing. I've been practicing on the orange. So whoever gave me that little tidbit, thank you. I think on Friday, I'm going to be able to pretty well without too much of a problem. But I've been practicing. Um, but I told you, I was like, oh, I have to do 62.5 of trisepatide. And I sat there and I did the little do, 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 do. I may even show a picture of that. Uh-huh. See, pictures, content. Um, and then I eventually <laughs> gave myself my injection. I want to say thank you to LaShawn Love 76 and my friend Maria, Maria Plus on Instagram because y'all caught something. You said, hey, Alonda, you just gave yourself 12.5. And I'm like, no, my label say 10. There's an issue with my label. Um, I, I, I did. I'm about 99% sure I just gave myself 12.5. And on the video, I kept telling y'all, I don't want to overdose. I don't want to overdose. Well, um, the number says 12.5, and there's 10 milliliters in my dosage. Or really, I guess it doesn't say 12.5. But when you equate it, even the people who use the same pharmacy that I use to compound my terzepatide, it equates to 12.5. So I just got bumped up and I don't know how. I went back to the website, I looked, it says 10. My next order is for 10, but human error, because <laughs> I just gave myself a 12.5 shot. It's working, it is working, because if you know, on Friday I was, 206.4 and as of this morning I am 205.9 and it's been two days so um it's working <laughs> but I thank y'all because I would not have caught that I am gonna call the pharmacy um tomorrow uh well one I'm I already sent an email I sent an email to Amble but I'm gonna call the actual compounding pharmacy, which is here in Houston, and ask them, hey, can y'all look at my records and tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? And there was another person who was like, hey, Alonda, call your pharmacy and just make sure that the information is correct. I don't know who you were, but I thank you. And when I do go back and look at my comments, if I pull it up, I will thank you on my next video. I do, I thank y'all so much. That's what I'm saying. Y'all had some knowledge. Some other people were like, do an auto injector. Get the auto injector on Amazon. I swear it was like four of y'all who were like, Alonda, do that. That's content, people. That is content. So again, I thank y'all from all my heart, not even the bottom, but all my heart because y'all really came through. Y'all were like, look at this, look at that, look at this. And y'all have been doing that the entire journey. Y'all have really been doing that the entire journey. I'm not a pro. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I am living and learning. And I tell y'all that in my comments. <laughs> I'm living and learning. <laughs> and uh, that's how I go through life. I think about what needs to get done. And then I just do it. I know I need to lose the weight for good. And so I'm just working on doing it. And then my last thing is I want to take a moment to thank out Downsizing Diva. Um, and I'll put all these people's links and stuff at the bottom because Downsizing Diva, at the end of her lives, she always asks people two questions. So Downsizing Diva, when you and I, eventually one day when I'm not scared, cause the girl's scared. I know I'm telling y'all, don't be scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to do a live, but one's coming. Um, you always ask two questions. One. How would you describe yourself prior to your weight loss journey? And then how would you describe yourself now? And I'm circling back to my camera roll. 
if you look at my camera prior to my weight loss journey, yeah, I'm not going to cry. There is not enough wind today. I need more wind. If you look at my camera roll prior to my weight loss journey, which started February of 2024, all my pictures were of my kids. I mean, just kids, 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 kids. If I did take a picture, if I was in the picture, y'all know I put somebody in front of me. Okay, everyone, smile. <laughs> That's what I did. Many of us do it too. Um, or we just avoid the camera at all costs. But I would say I was present. I was there for my kids and not necessarily myself. I was present for that moment. I was there for them. And it shows in my camera roll. Now, how would I describe myself now? I'm living. I am living my life. Because when I look at my camera roll, I see things that are important to me. My food, my weight loss, my journey, my plans. I take pictures of things for my content that are centered around my plans. I'm living, I'm living my best life. I'm sure it could get better and hopefully it will get better, but um, I'm living my best life. So thank you, Downsizing Diva. Um, thank you, LaShawn Love 76 And thank you, my Instagram friend, Maria Plus. Y'all have all told me to check the labels and uh, yeah, I, I appreciate y'all so much. So if you're scared, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just just film. Just get behind your camera. Look at your camera roll. See what you come up with. Nobody said you had to post it. But you might actually be helping someone that you would have never thought you were helping. I know y'all been helping me. Whether you know it or not, I appreciate it. So y'all take care. Enjoy your Sunday. I'm about to go put on some relaxation clothes. <laughs> Catch y'all later. Bye.